<laughs> Thank you, Deborah. Thank you so much, Deborah. And I want you to know that my uh, French Canadian relatives do call me Michelle. So it wasn't like a bad, it wasn't like a mistake or anything, you know. Uh, great to be here. Thank you so much. And thanks, Colleen, for, uh, for emceeing the event and great work. Um, I'm obviously very pleased to be joined uh, in terms of platform speakers by Ken Toll, the uh, Vice Chair of the Ontario Invasive Plants Council. Tremendous work being done. And Tat Smith, uh, Chair of the Invasive Species Centre, uh, which is doing remarkable work. And uh, we're working together on a number of things. Uh, Certainly, I do want to also acknowledge the, um, well, Deb, the Toronto Region Conservation Authority, the tremendous work that you do, uh, Landscape Ontario, the Ontario Horticultural Association, the OFAH, the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters. We've got some great staff from our ministry here. Thank you for the great work that you do. And, of course, the Evergreen Brickworks for hosting this, uh, this wonderful event. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. My first time here. and. Uh, I, uh, I, I look forward to coming here during the Blueberry Festival. Where's Aaron? Aaron was telling me about that uh, in August. Uh, but obviously uh, others that are participating in this, this pretty neat event, the Grow Me Instead initiative, uh, I think it's just a great idea. It's just a great idea that couldn't have happened without the, uh, the interest and the support, um, either directly or indirectly, of so many of partners uh, to develop the Grow Me Instead campaign. Uh, the Ontario Invasive Plant Council brought together conservation organizations, farmers, foresters, landowners, the horticultural industry, conservation authorities, local government agencies, and staff in our ministry. And I want to thank all of them for their amazing efforts. This uh, is really special. And again, being here is so special. I, I know how much the Evergreen Brickworks is uh, cherished by the people of this city. Uh, the farmer's market, obviously, the garden market, and then your many activities, programs, and initiatives. Uh, Certainly a wonderful place celebrating heritage, uh, geography, the environment, and sustainable living. So again, look forward to coming back. Um, certainly I also do know that uh, um, Evergreen uh, and your partners have done some outstanding work uh, around the brickworks to protect and restore the ecosystem, the Lower Don uh, River watershed. And uh, Deborah and I had an opportunity to speak about some of the challenges that you, we have, but uh, tremendous work working together. And thanks to everybody for the work that you do. Clearly, this is a perfect setting to celebrate the launch of the uh, Grow Me Instead campaign, a campaign that will help educate and empower consumers, uh, clearly an important step forward in the fight against invasive plants in Ontario, and uh, certainly everyone here, and I think many Ontarians, share a, a deep concern about the effects of invasive plants on this province. Uh, they do threaten the province's diversity, biodiversity, by, by overwhelming native plants, uh, uh, degrading wetlands, and threatening species at risk. And while I know that uh, we are, we're all the converted here, it's important for us to continue to, uh, to, to uh, uh, educate the public, because I think they want to help us as well. They need the education to do so. And um, we know about the serious economic impacts as well. Uh, I mean, whether they're crowding out native tree seedlings uh, in managed forests, or clogging irrigation canals, harboring insects and fungi that attack field crops, or even preventing swimmers and boaters from uh, enjoying our lakes and rivers. Uh, it's incredible when you look at the, the estimated costs of uh, invasive uh, plants and pests, and it's somewhere in the area of $7.3 billion a year when you look at all the uh, uh, impacts of that. It's also, as I think many people, of course, do know, it's not a recent problem. It does date back from many hundreds of years. Uh, Ontario's location on the continent and on the Great Lakes has made this province especially vulnerable to the arrival of a new species, both benign and invasive. And actually, probably not a bad point to mention how pleased we are, and certainly I am as Minister of Natural Resources, with the uh, introduction of the Great Lakes Protection Act that Minister Bradley introduced yesterday. And, I know that there's been a number of organizations uh, that have uh, uh, trumpeted the arrival of that piece of legislation. We're looking forward to setting up a Guardians, a guardians Council and providing some support to uh, community groups to, to work together. So, you know, we do, um, we are very pleased about that. In terms of invasive plants, um, the game introduced by gardeners or growers, I think who we can fairly say just certainly had no idea of the harm that they could do. Um, and. The, the, the bottom line is, as a result of all this, Ontario has to contend with more invasive plants than any, any other province in Canada. So, um, you know, and once they're established, they're difficult to eradicate. 
uh, they're, they're costly to control, and uh, it's, it's very, very difficult. So we do need coordinated action by many partners on many fronts to keep out new invasive species and obviously to fight the species that have arrived. Uh, I want you to know that uh, our ministry is very actively involved uh, on this front. We are developing a strategic plan for invas invasive species in Ontario. The plan will be setting out very shortly, being released, how the province can work with other government agencies, non-government organizations, and other partners, building on a foundation of uh, sound scientific knowledge. Uh, we are going to release those plans in the very near future and look forward to, to sharing them with all of you. Um, and we're excited about the Canada-Ontario uh, Invasive Species Centre in Sault Ste. Marie. It's, it's certainly one example of a project that enables the Ontario and the federal governments to, to collaborate very cooperatively on the management and the research of all types of invasive species. Uh, the centre is the first of its kind in North America. We're very proud of that. And I think it's already having a significant impact uh, in Ontario, Tad. So, uh, um, you know, obviously grateful to the Invasive Species Centre for taking part in the funding for the Grow Me Instead campaign. Uh, certainly a step in the right direction. Uh, the, the, Gromians, the Gromians said um, guide itself is going to act very much as a helpful um, resource, certainly raising awareness, which we know we need to do by giving consumers information about invasive plants and, uh, and native alternatives at a critical point when people are actually choosing to buy for their gardens, and obviously we're in that season now and have been for a little bit of a time. Um, the Ontario Invasive Plant Council can uh, lead the development of the campaign. Thank you so much and its Horticultural Outreach Committee, Communications Committee and Board of Directors helped develop the Grow Me Instead guidelines for Southern and Northern Ontario as well. Um, certainly the Toronto Region uh, Conservation Authority Deborah, donated um, um, Colleen's time. Thank you so much for that and, and Colleen clearly embraced it uh, so that she was able to lead the nursery recognition project and uh, you know there's no question that Colleen you did a great job. Let's hear it for Colleen. So much is formally work. There she is. Thanks so much, Colleen. Um, also, Landscape Ontario, the Ontario Horticultural Association, and the Ontario Master Gardeners um, as very much as well actively supported and contributed to the campaign. And of course, the 10 nurseries being recognized here today are stalking and, and promoting the guide and the native plants it recommends. Uh, so thanks to everyone. This is truly a uh, the best example you can of a, of a team effort and a partnership playing a part uh, with, the, uh, with the guide itself, with the campaign and with the event and, and certainly I'm also pleased that our ministry, the Natural Resources, is also supporting the development of the Grow Me Instead campaign. So let me wrap it up on saying something that I think we all agree with which is to encourage gardeners and outdoor enthusiasts to, to pick up a copy of the, the Grow Me Instead guideline or consult it. They can get it online. And, buy, and to buy their plants from uh, the nurseries that we're recognizing today that are promoting Grow Me instead of native plants. And obviously, um, to everybody here in Colorado, we want to encourage other nurseries to join the campaign. Uh, we want to invite anyone interested in learning more about invasive species to, to visit our ministry's website um, at ontario.ca forward slash invasive species. Invasive species, without question, will continue to challenge us. But, but again, I think we, we, we're showing this today by the kind of partnerships that we have by working together to prevent their arrival or to slow or, or stop their spread. We can all help conserve our province's biodiversity and we can provide a healthy, sustainable environment and a stronger economy for Ontarians. Thanks to everyone. This is a fabulous event and thanks for making it work so I could be here today as well to help celebrate with you. Thanks so much.